New Tool Day Tuesday, where I share with you guys a unique or useful tool that I myself use that I think you might be interested in. Now today's video, we're gonna talk about a threaded insert riveter. Now everybody knows what a rivet is. This isn't a regular rivet, it is a threaded rivet or kind of a captured nut, so to speak. And your typical threaded insert riveter kit comes in something like this. It's usually just something that hangs, uh, you can find them pretty much any hardware store and you'll see it usually has four or five different size of rivets. And it also has the appropriate hardware to use those rivets and the riveter itself. This particular model I believe came from Harbor Freight. The one we're gonna be using in the video came from Menards. They're both equally as good. It's just Menards has the sizes that we're gonna be working with today. So something you wanna keep in mind when you're buying one, make sure to handle the size of nuts or receiving rivet that you need. Now, as you can see, these rivet kits come with a bunch of hardware that you can use different rivets. And when I say rivets, they're technically called threaded inserts. Some people call them threaded rivets, uh, but different size hardware for different rivets and you wanna try not to lose them. I keep mine a little baggy zip tied to the tool itself. Now, the first thing you need to do is match the hardware with the nut insert that you're gonna be using. And I happen to know this is the right setup because I used this just a little bit ago. The way these work are, they screw into the end and they are backwards threaded, just like this. And then there is the nose, this hardware here that backward screws in there as well. Then you screw your rivet on. You put this down into the hole that you want this to be in and you squeeze the handles and it's that simple. Now it should go without saying you're gonna need a hole in whatever you're putting the rivet into. So you're going to probably drill that and sizing that is also pretty simple. You just wanna find a drill bit that is just a smidget bigger than the rivet itself. After you have the hole drilled, you take the nut insert already threaded onto the tool itself, put it in the hole like so and squeeze it together. And you're gonna squeeze it pretty tight. And then this guy here is knurled so you can back it out. And now your insert is in. And so what you have is you have a rivet with an insert that is threaded. It's kind of like a nut with a keeper. On the back side, you can see it pretty much mushrooms the bottom of the rivet up against the bottom of the piece of metal that you're putting it into. This keeps it from spinning. There's also some grooves into the very top of the rivet as well so that when it swells out, it really digs into the material and it won't spin on you. So why would you want a threaded insert? Well, there are situations like this is a piece of aluminum. It's pretty thin and you can't really drill and tap it because there wouldn't be enough threads to hold anything and aluminum is a lot weaker than steel. But by putting this nut insert in here, or this threaded insert, you have a really good nut that's gonna hold and stay and you can fasten another piece to it or bolt something else down or hang something from it. It's just a good way to get threads into something that you normally wouldn't be able to get threads into. One place I've personally used them is in the Harbor Freight blast cabinet. They have a sheet of glass and a frame that sits on top of this. The problem is there's a nut that Harbor Freight gives you underneath and a bolt that goes from the top. You have to reach inside the side of this cabinet and hold a wrench on the bottom and put the screw in from the top. And it's okay when you have screws that's close to the opening, but you have to have really long arms or be creative to reach these back screws. So what I did is I used the nut certs, they're threaded nut certs, and now I can use a screw from the top and not have to worry about holding the nut on the bottom of the cabinet. So as you can see, that makes changing the screen protector on the bottom side of this piece of glass really easy because I can just screw these in and not worry about a nut on the bottom side. So there you have it, a quick and dirty review of how to use a threaded insert riveter kit, what they're used for. And you know, quite honestly, these things are relatively cheap these days. You can pick one of these up for less than 20 bucks and it typically comes with rivets as well. I will put a link down below if I can find a good deal on a set of these, but uh, quite honestly, you can pick them up into big box stores and I bought this one from Menards and that other set came from Harbor Freight. If you like these types of videos, please like and subscribe. Take a look at some of my other videos and at the very least, you might be entertained.